Hey guys, welcome back to Kid Medic, and today I will be teaching y'all medication administration basics. So, as you can see, this is just my CPR dummy, and this is going to be the skin we're going to use. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by taking our needle and uh, opening it. Now, if you have um, a, a needle with a paper bag, um, you can only pop it like that, but this is not, so I'm just going to open it. So, we're going to open this and have that ready on to go. And today we're just going to be training with some uh, expired xylocaine, just on a local um, anesthetic. So first you're going to take your alcohol prep pad right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to tear down the middle like that. You're going to take it and then you're going to clean in a circular motion for 30 seconds. Right there, where you're going to put the medication. Now generally... People don't clean for 30 seconds, but you just want to get it sterilized and nice and ready. So now that our site is prepped, and let's say our patient is going to need 1.2 milligrams of um, local anesthetic. We're going to open our needle, and then we're going to go to the 1.2 line. So as you can see, there's 1.5, so we're going to pull down slowly and go to the 1.2 with air. And now this is air. So now that we have our air... We're gonna take our xylocaine and we're gonna pop off the top lid, okay? And this is 10 milligrams of xylocaine. And then I'm gonna flip the xylocaine over. So I don't know if y'all can see this, but y'all probably can. We're gonna flip the xylocaine over and then slowly stick the needle in the xylocaine. We're going to then push the air inside of the xylocaine, and then it's going to automatically fill up a little bit. And then we're going to pull the rest out to 1.2. Take it out. And now this video is for only educational purposes anyway. This is not truly um, get you certified in anything. We're going to slowly push the needle in. And this, this is local anesthetic. We're going to go all the way. And then you're going to slowly push in. And then you're going to slowly push in as you're coming out. And now when you're putting in medication, it will sting a little bit. Uh, some medications sting, sting but it, it, the part is it hurts is when they push the medication in. So then there's this method I like to use, and I'll show it on our table here. We're going to set down the cap, and instead of just going like this, putting the cap on top, which is very unsafe because you could prick yourself, you're going to take the needle and pick it up in there, and then you're going to push it on top. Make sure the needle's in the right spot. All right, now that the needle's on top, you, you would dispose this in the sharp spots. Now... If this is profusely bleeding, like bleeding a lot, like it's supposed to, I would take a gauze pad, press it on there. Just press it on there. But if it's not bleeding, just take your basic little band-aid. Your little band-aid. I like to rip them. I just have some ba basic plastic strips. Uh, and then I like to open my band-aids a certain way. What you do is you're going to open it. Ooh, got like a little bit. And you're going to go where the medication was given. I think it was right there. And then you're going to put the band-aid on like that. And that is our medication administration basics with a syringe. Next, we will teach you how to start an IV. All right. So to start an IV, we're going to start by sterilizing the area with our alcohol prep pad. Just like that, clean it up in a circular motion. So now that the area starts, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to demonstrate using an 18 gauge IV catheter. We're going to open the catheter. Alright, so now let's talk about the catheter. So as you can see on the catheter, there's this like plastic part that comes out of the catheter. And some catheters have a safety mechanism. So this plastic part is what is actually going to go in the vein. And then the needle goes through the plastic part, so then it can be delivered without the needle having to stick in the vein. So this straw is going to be our vein. So we're going to feel for our vein. And normally you would add an IV tourniquet, but I don't have an IV arm. So an, an, a vein will feel nice and spongy, very spongy. 
and sometimes you can see the veins, but that's very rare, so um, it'll feel spongy. So I'm gonna say right here is where our vein's gonna be. We're gonna stick until we feel a slight give, and now we have felt a slight give. So I'm gonna take out the catheter, slowly take out the needle, and then uh, introduce the catheter more. And there we go. And then you would um, flush it, and I'm with saline, but I'm gonna use this light blue liquid so y'all can see it come out of the thing. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna attach it to the IV catheter and flush the IV. All right, was enough fluid to make the fist. Then we're gonna take it off, and then we're gonna get our medicine. All right, so we're gonna start off using our medicine. Oh, by the way, before you do that, remember, you wanna bag your IV catheter using the scoop method. So we're gonna scoop up our IV catheter. All right, and there we go. Now it's secured in there. So now that our um, IV catheter is secured in there, I'm gonna bag it up and that'll go in the stress box and then we're gonna put that in there. So now we're gonna draw up our medication. So I'm just gonna attach, um, if I have one, a hypodermic needle tip to this, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Let's say today our our patient needs 2.5, 2, 2.3 milligrams. We're gonna take that much air. We're gonna put it into the vial, remember? We put it into the vial, and then we're gonna push it in and then it's gonna automatically fill itself a little bit because of the pressure that we've built in the vial. And then we're gonna go to 2.3 milligrams. All right, now that we're at 2.3 milligrams, uh, let's just call this, uh, let's say, a low, um, am, I don't know what you would call it, but whatever you wanna call it, Let's say on Dancitron. Let's say this is on Dancitron. I'm going to take it. I'm going to hook it up to the IV. I'm going to slowly push it in. Very slowly. I'm going to push the medicine in. And slowly push it in. And yeah, and that's how you would administer uh, medication through an IV. Now I'm going to teach you all how to do the IV tubing. All right. So for IV tubing, I'm going to be using a, um, I think, I believe it is a 15 drop set, an IV 15 drop set. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, connect this up. So we're going to open the IV tubing. And then we're going to connect it up. All right, so I'm gonna unroll the IV tubing. All right, that side's gonna stay over here, sterile. All right, then this side's gonna come and go inside of the actual IV, I believe. All right, so we're gonna throw this in the IV. And then this is where the hard part is. So I'm also gonna just be using a 1,000 mil of sodium chloride if it's fire, so it will never be able to be used. I'm going to open up that. And then it feels really, um, like, weird, but also like a, almost like a stress for me to take that out of the bag. And just so you know, if your sand is expired, do not put it in anybody. And if it's not expired and it's cloudy, uh, then do not use it. Like, this one is cloudy, so you should not use the sailing. So this is where the very physical part comes in. You're going to take this. You're going to open the tip of your IV. You're gonna take this, and you have to shove it in here. All right, we're gonna close the lock first. We're gonna lock it up. We're gonna throw this in there, and then what we have to do is you have to squeeze this really hard to get some more fluids in, all right? And then you have to hang this up somewhere. So we're just gonna set this over here for current purposes. Alright, so we're going to set this over here. Just like that. 
All right, and then this is how you can control the speed of the lock. So if I want it to be a little bit of drops, you see it's going to start coming through the tubing and into the um, IV itself. You see, you can see it going through the tubing, and then it's go it's feeding into the IV. It's I can make it really fast if I want to. Really slow. So like um, if you were doing a fentanyl injection, then you would go um, extremely slow because you can overdose on fentanyl very quickly since it is a class 2 narcotic. But yeah, and basically that's how you um, connect all the IV tubing and do everything. Next, I will teach you how to remove an IV. To remove an IV, you're going to take this, you're going to turn the tubing off, you're going to lock the tubing off, and disconnect the tubing. All right, the next thing you're going to do is I recommend uh, opening up a sterile gauze pad like that. And you're going to um, take the gauze pad. And what I like to do is I like to hold this here. And then I like to hold where the IV went very pressurely. And then you're going to take your um, a piece of medical tape. Oh, sorry, the IV fell. All right, so you really and truly want to um, just hold that right there. Uh, you want to get a tape before you do the IV because then you have to do it the hard way like me. And then you're gonna do the first strand right here. If you forgot to tape it down, I'm gonna do the first strand right here. So now I can hold. I'm gonna get some scissors, probably preferably medical scissors. Oh God. And then cut that off. Okay, then I'm gonna get another strand of medical tape and place it right there. So then it's nice and secure. And then place another strand right there. Oh god. Sometimes it can fall off if you don't tape it tight enough. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight. And then you want to continue to hold pressure on it just until it officially stops bleeding. Alright, and that is medication and administration basics. Um, thank you guys for watching. We, we have all, almost all of these medication and administration basics things except for like the Xylocaine, um, on our website for sale. So um, thank you guys for watching. And as usual, our link will, um, to our website will be in the link in the description below. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.